Alright guys, so I'm trying to make this um, as well-rounded as I can without leaning too far to the theory side and, bo and boring the people who can't stand theory um, out of their minds, but also not being so uh, just create and just feel um, and be so untheory based that um, I sort of lose people who, look at, who are looking for concrete answers. So what we're going to do now is while before we had a baseline and it was just kind of like, yeah, start somewhere, hammer out a half bar to a one bar pattern and just uh, copy and paste that over, duplicate it, um, and then just mess with the note lengths and the, um, the, the pattern of the notes to create bass lines. Now what I'm going to do is show you a little bit more of a theory-based way to create bass lines uh, that I hope are helpful to those who can't um, or aren't as interested in doing it in the, kind of the red way that we did it up here, which was create this initial bass line, duplicate it over, mess with the note lengths in the order of the notes, uh, and, and that's your second bass line. So for people who maybe don't think that way, here's a great great remedy for that you're not on the outs what you'll do take your minor scale um, or major that we just set up duplicate it because this is kind of our master template we don't really want to mess with these guys they're here for reference they're here to be duplicated duplicate that over and if you want I mean you could even change the, the color so that way you know the master template never gets touched the orange never gets touched, but the green on the orange is what we'll be experimenting with. Now remember, minor key is folded down, so we're, we're in theory. We're good. We're never going to hit a bad note, really, um, or, or I should say out of scale, out of our um, chosen scale. So in this case, it looks like, where did I leave us at? <laughs> it looks like I left us on E minor. Um, what you'll do here is you're going to set up a loop, and I'll show you how to do that. There's a little gray bar at the top of Ableton. You can drag that over, and what you can do is use this function here. You can also just do Control L, and it will loop, and it will automatically set the parameters. So if you just click on what you want to loop, and you click Control L, that will toggle that on and off. So, <clears throat> but I don't want a full bar. I want a half bar, and you can see that the button is selected, so it'll loop a half bar. In order to make your baseline now, if, you, if you're kind of the kind of person that needs a little bit of theory, something to hang on to here, um, what you can do is hammer out a pattern on one note of your scale. Probably best to start on the root note, since we're in the key of E minor, uh, do, e mi do E, and um, what you'll do is you'll hammer out a pattern and then you'll start to move those notes, uh, that pattern to different notes to create a nice bass line. So right now we're on 164, that's a little bit uh, too small. So hit B, get off your, your, your uh, pen tool, right click. Let's start off on eighth notes and then if we need something more technical, we can go into 16th notes. Sometimes if you go right to 16th, you kind of feel like you have too many options here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And if you didn't see what I did there, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you keep going over, there's 4 here, there's 4 here, and there's 4 here. And you can see how the colors <clears throat> of these blocks from 1 to 1.2, there's 4 beats within that first 1 to 1.2. There's four beats, if you will, or four options between 1.2 and 1.3, and so on and so forth. So what you'll do is you can hammer out a pattern. Let's go ahead and get back on track. Right click, eighth notes. Hammer out an eighth note pattern and just see how it does for you. Um, <clears throat> And then from there, what you'll do is you'll experiment with shrinking these notes up, maybe on a 1 16th grid. Uh, and then once you have a basic pattern hammered out all on E, then you start to lift different notes, uh, these notes onto different notes, different pitches, um, which will then create obviously more of a complex bass line or a standard bass line. So let's check it out. And let's get actually 
some sound in here would probably be helpful as well so we actually know what the heck we are sounding like drag that in now that's actually the muted bass so let's drag that out just hit the backspace that's all i did there um oh that is the saw bass okay i should be able to hear that yep we can hear that loud and clear obviously it's very high pitched so what we want to do actually is take these notes shift and hit your down arrow which will bring you down an octave cool let's unfold this for a minute here let's go let's do control z to undo that let's unfold and let's select all of these notes our scale our minor scale and do shift with a down arrow that's going to drop it an octave and then do that again shift down arrow which drops it down a second octave we're still in the key of e minor all we did was drop it down an octave uh two octaves so select your notes same thing shift down arrow shift down arrow now we're more in like a baseline region hopefully i can hear this on my speakers here but it should be fine and we do have our loop on and uh yeah let's see how this goes okay so there you go it's all on e now obviously this is a very basic example just with eighth uh, eighth notes you can lift that up and if we fold again now we'll never be out of key so let's just go up by one note yeah i mean you know it really depends on your judgment and your discretion but i've heard house grooves like that so there's really nothing wrong with just using all e's and then just lifting that one up to an f sharp now of course if you want to get more technical you can shrink that f up and maybe you could oh i don't know try an a in there You can see it's all about setting the groove, but basically that all started by hammering out a pattern um, <clears throat> on our scale here. You could even do something traditional like a triplet. Select these, duplicate them over, use your arrow key to push them over. Um, this is taken from my, my uh, good old trance days of triplet. A lot of those times guys would do something like this where you select every other note uh, on your one and your three and then you can lift those up maybe to like a you can also do the opposite instead of lifting the middle lift the front and the back of the two and the four of your bar and then you could lift those up to A as well. So now you've got down, up, down, but then your second go is up, down, up. And then those those patterns repeat over here, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's just all about kind of patterns, numbers, and colors. Um, <clears throat> so that's something to keep in mind. And um, I hope that that was helpful, guys. I mean, the sky is really the limit with this. You could do kind of a descending thing and then an ascending thing. You know, have fun with it. it it's music. Have fun. Create a nice groove. And, um, you know, eventually we'll replace all these sounds out with, you know, kind of nicer samples, maybe more current ones or not so basic 909 in a basic saw, but like... It's a good start, and you've got a lot of options now. If you're theory-based, you've got your theory. If you want to just kind of create and duplicate over and move note lengths and um, pitches, you can do that, which is how we started off our baseline kind of part of this course. Um, the options are here for you guys, so just have fun with it. You could switch over to a major scale instead of a minor scale. Uh, it, it's There's options here, and that's the whole point of this. You have options, you're equipped, now we're starting to get some ammo uh, onto our belt and uh, really be able to uh, have some firepower here. So go have fun. <laughs>